Boom is a type of oil spill response equipment used to protect shorelines or sensitive areas, such as coastal marshes or seabird nesting areas. It is a floating physical barrier placed on the water to contain, exclude, deflect, or redirect oil. It prevents oil movement by working at or near the surface level where oil floats. The length of boom is measured in feet and the height in inches. Boom typically comes in high visibility colors like yellow, white, and orange. Several types of boom may be used depending on the type of oil, weather conditions, the amount and location of the spill. Common parts of boom. This graphic shows the five basic parts of boom. Number one, the flotation device keeps boom at the surface level and traps floating oil. Two, the freeboard sits above water keeping oil from washing over the top. Number three, the skirt prevents currents from pulling oil under the boom. Four, the ballast is the weight at the bottom of the skirt keeping boom hanging vertically. And number five, the tension line or strength member are the cables, chains, or lines of the boom. Common types of boom. Fence boom has a tall freeboard and short skirt. It is generally used when oil is moving across the surface of the water. Curtain boom is the opposite with a shorter freeboard and a longer skirt. It is used when underwater currents are stronger, moving oil below the surface of the water. Inflatable or containment boom has air-filled tubes that float, keeping oil from going over the boom during wave action. It also includes one or more water-filled tubes that lie below the water for balance and to keep the oil from passing underneath the boom. Sorbent boom, the white cloth-like material pictured here, is made of soft material holding oil within the boom itself. It's most effective with thin layers of pollution and light winds or currents. Fire boom is made of material that can withstand high heat generated by burning oil. It's generally used to corral oil for on-site burn. Snare boom looks like cheerleader pom-poms tied to a long line. It's placed along shorelines to collect oil that washes ashore. By design, snare booms have a greater surface area and can collect more oil than other types of boom. Typical uses for boom. Encirclement is the process of laying one or more barriers of boom around the source of the spill to keep it from spreading. Diversion means setting one or more lines of boom at angles, guiding the oil towards an area where it can be confined and recovered. It is primarily used near shore, on rivers, and is most effective when there are weak currents and little wave action. Collection means towing boom behind a boat in a V-shape, a U-shape, or J-shape through or around a slick, gathering oil for recovery or burning. Absorbent is when a substance penetrates and is held in by the boom. Adsorbent is when oil sticks to the outside of a boom. Recovery is the process of placing boom where it will contact floating oil and absorb it or adsorb it. Exclusion is the process of stringing boom around non-polluted areas, keeping oil out. There are limitations to the effectiveness of any boom. For example, splash over from wind, breaking waves, changing tides, and shifting currents. Boom is still the best tool for collecting and removing oil or preventing it from impacting shoreline habitat. For more information on boom, go to www.wildlife.ca.gov/osprey.